Wisconsin and Purdue has just gone final as well. Remember, Wisconsin, the only team in the West that controls its own destiny. If the Badgers end up in the Big Ten champion, uh, if the Badgers win out, re re uh, rather, they would end up in the Big Ten championship game. Again, this one has gone final against the Boilers. And you saw T.J. Watt early on here. David Blau picked off by T.J. Watt, who brings it back for the touchdown. Well done by Watt, who continues to have a fantastic year on what is shaping up to be or has been one of the better defenses in the Big Ten. It's 14 to three in favor of the Badgers. They continue to play rotating QBs. Bart Houston to Alec Engel, who hasn't scored a touchdown all year. He got two in this game, makes it 28 to three. Purdue did get some offense going. Blau to D'Angelo Yancey, and they are a big play attack. Just hasn't been enough of this for Purdue. And Bradrick Shaw for the Badgers. I know you like this guy, Howard. Yeah, big time running back. Really does a great job of finding the creases and exploding through them. 35 10 at the break. They got 35 points in the second quarter, their most in six years. Trying to get it done a little bit with the pass game as well. Alex Hornibrook to Jazz Peavy. Wisconsin on top, 42 to 10. They win it by the final of 49 to 20. So another impressive offensive performance by Wisconsin. Second straight week, they have done that. Now you see the situation with the Badgers. And again, it's very straightforward for them. All they need to do is win next week, and they will find themselves in the Big Ten championship game in Indianapolis for the fourth time in six years. Nebraska 6-2 and two as well. Northwestern Minnesota now both eliminated from the divisional race. Not